hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to host your own web server on the dark web and um you can do it directly from your android phone okay and for those of you that are new to this channel on this channel we upload videos on linux tutorials ethical hacking tutorials and um, programming videos so if you're interested in, in these topics kindly consider subscribing and turn on your bell notifications and um Without wasting much of your time, let's get to the video. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Tamox. Now, the Play Store version of Tamox no longer functions, so we're going to be installing Tamox using the FDroid application. So, to download FDroid, go to www.fdroid.org and download the FDroid application from its official website. But for those of you that already have Tamox, installed i'm going to create a timestamp in the description of this video so you can just skip to you know the main process of the video so download the fdroid application and um, if i click on details now you can see the application is downloading so after downloading the application the next thing you do is you install it so you click on install and um you wait for installation to be completed and um okay let's wait a little bit now the application has been installed and you're going to open the application click on open open and then what the application is going to do is it is going to update its repositories as you can see after the update has been completed the next thing you're going to do is you're going to search for tamox so click on the search button right there and type tamox all right Tamox. Now, after typing Tamox in the search bar, you're going to get a list of options in the list. You want to locate Tamox Terminal Emulator with Packages, as you can see right there Tamox Terminal Emulator with Packages. So, you're just going to click on that and um, you're going to install. So, the installation of Tamox has already started. And um, we're just going to wait for this to finish installing, you know. It is going to take a while and you know it is going to take a little bit of space from your phone and um yes it is about okay for your security your phone is not allowed to install unknown app from the source so you're going to go to settings and then you're going to allow fdroid to install application so you're going to give fdroid permission to install application just switch on the the toggle there and then you can now go back and install your Tamox application. So, for those that don't know how to install Tamox, this is how you install the, you know, Tamox the Terminal Emulator. This is how you go about the installation. So it is going to load some Bootstrap packages now. We're going to wait for that to, you know, to finish. And after that, the application is going to open. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give Tamox storage permission. Okay. So um, let me quickly clear the screen. Clear. To give storage permission to Tamox, you're going to use the command tamox setup storage. Okay, that is the command you use to give storage permission to Tamox. So I'm just going to type that now tamox setup storage, and you're going to click on enter. And um, a notification should come up, a new window should come up that said allow Tamox to access application, files, photos, and all of that. So as you can see now, storage permission has been enabled and um. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to update your terminal. You can do that with the pkg update command as you can see in the video. So you're just going to type pkg update and um, it is going to update the terminal. Okay. Now that the terminal has been updated, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install these two applications and the name of the applications are Tor Browser and Allbot. So to install Tor Browser, just open your Play Store and type Tor Browser. Okay. Tor Browser, as you can see there so and i'm um, going to click on install so i'm going to wait for the tor browser installation to you know finish now as you can see tor browser is installing so while installing tor browser let us quickly search for all bots okay so um let me clear the screen and search for all bots clear and um we're going to type o r b o t all bots Obot is a proxy app, a VPN app that you can, you know, use with the Tor browser. So, 
you can use it with any application actually so you're going to install all boards all right and i'm um, so we're going to wait for tor browser to finish installing then all boards so tor browser is in 34 percent now as you can see here 34 46.03 mb as at the time of making this video so we're going to wait for tor to finish installing okay so let us be a little bit patient let me click on the application itself and um yeah the browser has been successfully installed now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to all board and you know monitor it and make sure the installation is successful all boards and okay the installation has started already and uh, the installation is successful so now that these two application has been installed what we're going to do now is we're going to install Tor on Tamox, okay? And then we're going to install Engine X. Now we're going to be using Tor to connect to the Tor network, of course, and we're going to be using Engine X as a web server to host the website. Understood? So to install these two tools, you're going to use the command pkg install Tor, then Engine X. Then at the front of it, you're going to add iPhone Y, which means yes, okay? So I'm just going to create a space now. Just click on your space bar and type dash Y, okay? And you're going to click on enter and down. The installation should be completed in about a minute or two, depending on your network now. After that, we're going to be editing a folder in the Tor network, okay? We're going to be editing the folder. We're going to be setting up the, the port we want Tor to connect to, okay? So to do that, you're going to use the nano command. So you're going to type the command nano dot dot forward slash user. The file is in the user forward slash etc forward slash tor which is the tor folder then the name of the file is torrc so forward slash torrc and um, it should bring you to to something like this so you're going to type the command control plus w to search and what you're going to search for is hidden services okay so hidden hidden services here it is as you can see so what you're going to do is you're going to uncomment this just like i am doing in this video then you're going to uncomment that and at the front of the port number you want to add 80 at the front so we want this to connect to the port 8080 we want to, to connect to port 8080 then you're going to save the file okay now that is that about that now next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new file for to, to save all of its work all right so you're going to be using the mkdir command which is make directory command and um the the, the folder you want it to save the, the files is going to follow so this is the folder you're going to be using the user forward slash bar forward slash lib then um you're going to create a folder you're going to call that folder tor as you can see so i just created a new folder called tor then you're going to create another folder inside that tor called hidden services okay just like i have done i'm going to be pasting the commands in the description below so just copy the commands from there to avoid mistakes now that that has been done the next thing you're going to do now is you're going to start engine x okay and then you're going to start to so now as you can see engine x has been started and um Tor has been started so uh, a new web server has been hosted for us on the Tor tor network okay now to access that web server what you're going to do is you're going to access the new folder we created earlier now to do that you're going to open a new section and um you're going to navigate to that folder so as you can see um we created the folder user forward slash um var forward slash lib and um i think tor forward slash alien services so you're going to type the command the command cat means print out what is inside this folder so we're going to print out what is inside this folder now the hidden services folder we just created we created earlier so and um forward slash host name as you can see so we want to get the host name of the server that has just been created and as you can see this file right here is the is the host name for the web server that has been created by nginx tor network okay so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to um open the all bot vpn application and um, you're going to turn on your vpn so 
let me wait a little okay it has been loaded so where do you want to use this vpn i want to use the vpn on the let's use the vpn with chrome let us test it with chrome and see first so i'm going to mark chrome and um, i'm going to go back now after marking chrome i'm going to go back and um okay done and what i'm going to do is i'm going to enable vpn mode as you can see the vpn mode has been enabled right there so you're going to make sure that it's on and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on start okay so and i'm um, going to click on start right there and the, the the icon should turn yellow when it has started and you know it has been connected to the turn network as you see the the all board vpn has been connected to the turn network so let me try looking for my ip address on you know google let's let me try searching for my ip address and see what happens so i use this website ip8.com you know to search for ip address just in case so ip8.com uh, we're going to wait for this to open okay it load 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 okay it is loading and as you can see it said my ip is 199 blah 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 and as you can see the ip seems to be mapped to following countries united states this is not an uncommon situation not every ip can be mapped to right location blah 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 so the ip you know could not be mapped to the right location so this is definitely working so now i'm going to open my tor browser application and you know i'm going to show you how you can host a web server using the tor browser okay so i'm just going to i'm going to quickly close this now and go back to the tor browser application okay so Okay, and um, Tor browser. So you're going to open the Tor application now, and um, you're going to click on Connect. Okay, so Connect. It is going to launch. As you can see, the starting Tor client. So we're going to wait for it to finish loading, and it has loaded. So we're going to paste the web address. We copied from Tamox earlier. We're going to paste it here. Okay, so I'm just going to paste that. Paste link from clipboard. Okay, and um, we're going to wait for it to load. And as you can see, it says "Welcome to Engine X." If you see this page, the Engine X web server is successfully installed and working. Further configuration is required. For online documentation and support, please refer to enginex.org. And commercial support is available at enginex.com. So, um, that is that about the thing. So, if you want to host your own, you know, your personal website on this engine x web server now what you have to do is um you're going to have to locate the the index file of engine x okay in the engine x directory so that is what i'm going to do now the, what you to get there you're going to type the command cd dot dot forward slash user i'm sorry let me clear that forward slash user then forward slash um it is in the share folder so forward slash share forward slash engine x okay and um you want to click on html so if you type ls now you're going to see that there's two files there the 50x.html file and the index.html file so if we edit the index.html file as you can see welcome to nginx just the exact script we saw there that is what is here so this is where the the, the web server can be hosted so your files if you want to host your web server or whatever this directory is where you need to you know install those files okay so um i'm going to delete this index.html file now rm index.html then i'm going to host um just an html file I, you know wrote by myself okay nano index.html so i'm going to create a new index.html file and i'm going to paste now okay and um, i'm going to save the file now, if I go back to my Tor browser, let me go back to Tor. And um, 
if i refresh this now let me just quickly uh, quickly refresh this if i refresh you're going to see that it is going to change from this welcome to engine x it is going to change to as you can see hosting website on the dark web make sure you subscribe to base and tech on youtube and turn on bell notifications don't forget to share so this is how you host your own website on the dark web as you can see it has been hosted and if you want this to be online for other people to access you have to you know contact engine x using their website as it was you know prescribed in the in the first web page that opened when we opened the nginx so to stop your web server you can just simply type ctrl c to stop the tor web server and um, to stop nginx you're going to type the command nginx dash s stop and that command above is going to you know stop the web server and anytime you want to work on your website or the web server you can easily start it using the nginx command okay and you start tor also so that is going to be all for this video if you have question reach out to me in the comment section or contact me on whatsapp thanks for watching see you in the next video goodbye